All right, gang. Welcome back to the Gator Challenge on Little Lands. You join me in our little tiny uh, grass field. You notice that uh, we have upgraded our lawnmower. So uh, the other one was nice as it was, but uh, we still had a little bit of funds left over, and uh, I just figured it, it's time just to go ahead and upgrade it. We've got a couple grass fields now. They're not very big grass fields, but if we upgrade it, we can get this done at a lot faster of a pace, and uh, it'll just help us out overall. So. That is what we have done, is we have upgraded our mower. So that field is already done. I was out early today mowing it. I've already been uh, picking up some of the grass as well. Um, and uh, we'll be able to get that complete today as well. So our objectives today are we're going to finish picking up the rest of the grass off the ground on our field there. Uh, we are going to harvest this field here. We need to take a peek and see what the actual price is. Uh, I'm not sure if it's best now or if it, it's bad. If it's bad, we'll just hold on to it. And then we need to drill field six. Uh, I'm not going to worry about drilling the big field today. Um, we can drill that in the next episode. Um, and we have to fertilize this field as well. So a lot of things to accomplish here. Uh, and uh, not really a whole lot of time to do it. So let's go ahead and put this away for now. It basically uh, tripled our width buying this mower, and it wasn't that big of a, a, an increase. Uh, it only cost us about $6,000 to do so after we sold the other one. Uh, well, actually, I think it was $7,000 to do so after we sold the other one. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and put uh, the drill on this one. And my goal here is we're going to go ahead and take this over to the other field and uh, do the, uh, the headland there. And then we'll put it on a worker, and hopefully the worker can get most of it. Excuse me, most of it done. And then we're going to do the headland of this as well, and uh, hopefully put that on a worker as well. Uh, and hopefully that worker can um, accomplish the same, right? Accomplish most of the the harvest for us. And then we'll finish picking up the rest of the grass here. And then whenever we're done, uh, we'll take over whatever's left of the harvest, and uh, we'll touch up whatever this worker did not do properly as far as drilling the field. So uh, we do need some more. Uh, seed and fertilizer, so we might as well go ahead and fill some up while we're here. So I'm going to buy both. I'm going to buy fertilizer, because um, we're going to need some more anyway. And we'll buy seeds. Did I not buy the seed? Oh, we don't have enough to buy the seed. Uh, okay. Well, that's okay. We have enough seed in there for what we're going to do today anyway. Uh, and once we start selling some of that canola, if we sell the canola today... Uh, we'll get money. Plus the silage, we'll get money there pretty quickly because the silage, we have it on selling. Um, and it, it'll sell whenever it's ready every hour. So let's take this down here to our, our, our crop field. Uh, this is quite a wide drill for this little tiny map. So in the future, we need to look at trying to upgrade to a bigger one. Problem with that is I don't think there's going to be anything. Maybe there's one. Uh, it's probably going to be the same width as this one, though, which is kind of where the problem lies, right? Ooh, we didn't want canola in there, did we? What do we want to put in there? What do we want to put in here? Uh, let's see. It is April. So, one, two, three, four, five, October-ish. So, we could do any of these. Uh, canola, we've already got going in one of the other ones, so I'm not worried about canola right now. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do wheat. Let's do wheat. This is a very hard field to uh, to drill and to harvest, just because of the awkward shape it is. So that's why I kind of want to get rid of some of these trees, even though it, it may be less beneficial. I do want to get rid of them. Is it down or up right there? Now it's down. No clue. So this is a very small field. It should not take long to do, but we've got a lot of other things that have to happen on this field. Uh, I also spent some money uh, on the other uh, gator and got the same uh, lifter attachment that we have currently on this one. So we're able to utilize all of the other implements with the exception of if it needs a draw bar, which nothing so far that we've got. There will be an eventually here soon, but nothing that we've got so far has required that draw bar. So uh, because of that reason, 
we haven't bought a second draw bar. Draw bars aren't that expensive, but there's no reason for us to buy one when we haven't had to utilize it yet. But we will. Soon enough, I assure you there's going to be something that we use that uh, will require it. Because when I was doing my tests, something specifically I wanted to utilize required it, and uh, it didn't have one, in which, which is where all my tests came from and why I thought there was no way to do any kind of PTO work, when clearly there was. So thank you, Milk That Hen, for bringing it to my attention. And I'm glad that he's doing this series as well. Go check his out if you haven't done so already. He is doing uh, an active series on this. At the time of this recording, I believe he's the only other person so far that's doing it. I hope other people join in, but he's the only other one at least making content that has actively doing so. So we have a full load here. So we're going to go ahead and take this back here. We'll drop it off and uh, put a temporary hold on picking up the grass here until we get around the headland with the harvester. Uh, when that's done, we will uh, come back to picking up this grass. Because at that point, we're going to put the harvester on a worker. Having two gators on the on the the farm though, it's it's a tremendous help. This is game changing for us. It's a small little farm. I'm not sure we'll ever need to do three gators or not, but hey, if we get enough money to do so, and it makes sense, we will do it. All right, let's get the harvester ready to go here. I love those tires, man. Those tires are awesome. So I don't know what the best way is to go about doing this. Um, as far as harvesting this, we still have to kind of take care of the potatoes and everything over there. They're a bit of a mess, but we'll get them. We'll get them fixed up. Um, this is going to be kind of in the way, so I think what we're going to do is put the header on and then... Um, when we go back to do the grass work, we'll back the, the trailer back in so it's not in the way for when we're moving the grass around. Just have to make do with what we got. Right? Alright, so what's the best way to do this here, gang? Um, I think I'm going to go this way. Kind of a weird place to start, but I think I'm going to start here. Now this should be a pretty high yield. It should be around 93 to 95%, give or take. I'm just going to go straight here, and then we're going to go to the end, turn right, and come back up this way. Um, I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it for a worker. Honestly, probably the easiest way to do it for a worker is to go straight up that path right there uh, next to our entrance road, right? And then leave this, and we can take care of this later. Maybe that's what we'll do. Yeah, probably will. But no matter what, we're going to have to come down here and, and do a, a, a pass. Uh, at least one, probably two, really. Um, because it, it, the worker's not going to go all the way down. It's going to see the trees and it's going to stop immediately. The trees uh, have like a collision detection and it will not uh, go all the way to the end. It'll cut it way, way back there. Which... Certainly, we could we could take care of it, right? We could touch it up and take care of it, but I might as well just do it now to help the worker out, right? All right, that's about as close as I want to get without ruining the crop. So we'll go down here to the end. We'll turn around, go again, and then uh, we'll throw it on a worker. Hopefully we pick the, the correct path. Actually, we could just put it on a worker on this side. Let's just put it on a worker on this side. That's much easier. That's much easier. I really should do two passes, though, like I said. Mm, you know what? We're not going to. We're just going to let them go up there because it's going to be full before it gets to a point where it's going to freeze up because of the trees because there's a pretty big gap here. Uh, and I'm expecting a really good yield, like I said. So uh, we're going we're gonna to send them up once we get going here. We're just going to send them up the path here. Uh, let him do his thing. Or her. Let them do their thing. I should say. It is a her. Oh, shit. See there? This is what I'm talking about. Had the wrong thing on there. There we go. 
Always gotta look at the little, uh, little image in the left-hand corner, see? Just look at the little image up there. You'll figure it out. We don't have a whole lot of money, um, with two workers running that, it's gonna eat a lot of that money, so it's a good thing we've got the grass going into the silage. Um, it's gonna make us a good chunk of money here when 9 o'clock hits, whenever we get to 9 o'clock. Let's line this up here. right button hit, but I do now. And this is quick, so it doesn't take us that long to do it, which is good, right? This is probably going to be, well, it might be two more loads, I guess. I was going to say it probably will uh, be able to take all of this, but it might not. It might be two more loads. If it is, great. It's a good thing. A lot more silage, a lot more money. We haven't hit the pole yet. We just drove right through that <laughs> that sign. We haven't hit that pole yet. We did a couple episodes ago. When we get this filled up, uh, we're going to take a peek and see how the uh, worker's doing with drilling. Uh, see how he did. I'm assuming he's probably done or close to being done if he hasn't already. It might have clicked up there and I didn't notice it. Watch out, old lady. We're coming through. Do a loop-de-loop -loop around you. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of excess left here um, that we're not going to be able to pick up because we're at 87% already. So the odds are we're going to uh, not be able to get all of this, unfortunately. It's uh, it's too bad. I was hoping we are going to, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case here unless we get really lucky. All right, he's almost got a full tank, so we're going to have to go back there here in a second anyway. Actually, I think we are going to get it. Nope. Nope. We're literally going to be just short. That's too bad. Good thing, but it, it's too bad as far as our time management there. I thought we were going to be good there. Uh, the worker did finish. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. So let's back up here and see how he did. Big reveal. See if he did it all or not, or if he screwed something up. Yeah, he missed some, which we kind of expected, right? Well, at least I expected it. But he didn't do that bad of a job. It's just a tiny little section right there. I'm just going to hit this really quick because I know I missed this section when we were going around the corner. Not that it's going to make that big of a difference to the, the yield there. But it's something. Alright, that's the field done. We've got to spray it. And we got to roll it. Maybe three caters wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know. We'll have to think about it some more, I guess. We're going to take a shortcut into our grass field here. Because we can. We're going to destroy that blue uh, post, though. There it goes! <laughs> now, I was looking at the grass field. I don't know if we can expand that grass field or not. There is a track that runs next to it. We're not really going to utilize that track, so... Uh, we, we may end up... Um, the wrong way. He's facing the wrong way. Of course he is. Uh, but we may end up um, 
we're moving that with the plow, right? We've got the plow, we might as well use it. If we can expand that grass field, let's do it. That's where my mindset is, at least. Let me back this up here. Pick up the, uh, the trailer here. It's being a huge help for us. Not having to run this back and forth so many times. We'll uh, load this up all the way to max, and then we'll take a look and see if it's uh, a, a good time to sell it. If it's even a decent time to sell it, we'll probably sell it. We need the money. And don't worry, I did not forget about the pig food. Uh, I'm still trying to find the correct solution there. I'm thinking it's going to be just that little shovel thing uh, for chaff or whatever. I think that's going to be the solution we end up going with, but... Um, We'll, we'll see. Still trying to find something for it. get the uh, the header to start spinning. I don't know what I'm doing. That's all I was doing. I don't know what the problem was, but anyway. Uh, okay, so price for canola. It is not good, and it's dropping, and it's not going to go back up until... November, December, um, but it's not bad. Three two oh nine at the grain elevator. That's a pretty good price. It's only four hundred dollars off. Well, four fifty, give or take a few, off what the average max is in November, December. So, um, selling grades only three one six two. So that's even. That's not even that far off the grain elevator. So how far is the grain elevator? Let's look at that first of all, because if it's far away. Which it kind of is. We haven't ever been there, so I kind of am, am, am enticed to go that way. So I think we're going to. I think we're going to. Put a worker back on this. When it comes time, I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, let's get this back here. We can drop off the grass. I don't think it, it, it will be able to do a little bit of it, but I don't think it'll get through all of it before uh, 9 o'clock hits, but... Um, if it does get through some of it, though, that's that's good for us, right? It's extra money. <laughs> what I probably should be doing, I just kind of thought about it, is... We need the money now, so we won't do it now, but next time we start mowing other grass, we probably should just keep it in here as storing. The silage, keep it in here as storing, and when it's re when when we keep looking at the time and whatever it's best to sell it, we can just flip it to selling, and it'll sell during the next hour, right? That's probably what we should be doing. Yeah, we've got a bunch of silage in there. Alright, let's go pick up the rest of this real quick. And then uh, we've got a couple other things we have to do in those fields. Specifically, we need to fertilize this field. Uh, we've got to spray the field way over there, roll that field, and uh, we've got to uh, fertilize our grass field too. So a lot of fertilization to do, and a little bit of spraying and rolling. I think that's it. I'm gonna kind of run this edge here real quick because the edge sometimes things just kind of spill over into here. I don't think anything did. I think we got most of everything, but it's worth a worth a pass, I would say, to make sure. Yeah, looks like we got it all. Let's go dump it. 594 liters. Not a whole lot, but it is something.
So even though the canola is not the exact best time, it should give us still a pretty high payday. Truly, it should. That should be. Uh, that should be good for us. Oop. Flying into there, didn't I? Whoops. All right, let's back this back into our shed here. We'll put it in front of the the, the uh, mower, the lawn mower. Easy there, big fella. Next episode, uh, when we start planting, well, pl yeah, my, we start drilling that field, the big field, we're going to have to get some water to all of our uh, placeables as well. They're going to need some water. It's been a bit. Maybe we potentially think about upgrading the water as well, the water trailer. There we go. All right. So, we need... I'm going to unattach this. We're going to put the fertilizer on this one. We'll go get the fertilization done. There's a lot of fertilization that has to be done. They're all relatively close. We probably are going to need a little bit more fertilizer, actually. We have some. Um, well, actually, we might not. This might This might be the perfect amount. So we'll go ahead and get this done, gang. We'll get this done. We'll get uh, all of that done as well. The field with the canola put into the trailer. And uh, we'll see where we're at once all that's done.
All right, gang, things are going good here. Um, we've got $33,000 already, uh, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know... Um, I don't know how much silage is left, uh, but it should be... Whatever's left should be flipping over here and selling in the next three minutes. So, uh, should be a decent payday right there alone, too. Uh, the first one was 10000 It won't be 10000 this time, but... Maybe if we get a couple more thousand out of it, I'm pretty happy. Um, we definitely have enough where we can either buy another field or uh, continue to st spend some money in paying off our loan. Maybe a little bit of both. Uh, we will look at that one field down there that we were potentially planning on buying before we bought uh, that tiny little field that had sorghum in it. We will take a look at that one. Oh, this is full. We need to go sell it. Okay. Nope. There you go. So uh, we get to see a different section of the uh, of the map that we had yet to see. There's a fire uh, station over there. I don't know if you saw that or not on the way through that time lapse or not, but um, it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty. It's pretty nice, man. I really, I really do like this map. Look at that bell clock over there, like a church or something. Sorry, the camera's kind of going all over the place there. It's because of those trees, but there's the fire station I was talking about right there. That clock in the background. It's awesome. There's a big, uh, big factory up here, which is where we've been selling these at. So, we'll sell it again. It's probably gonna be about the same, around twenty-five-ish thousand dollars, which is amazing. Truly, we're gonna be. Uh, we'll probably get at least another full trailer load off that field, which means seventy-five-ish uh, thousand dollars we're gonna make. That's really good for us. That's a that's a huge a huge payday what we've been waiting for. It's going to help us out tremendously. The loan will be really shortened. Um, we'll probably pay, spend 50 grand on the loan itself. Yep, 25610. One more of those, man, we'll be at we'll probably be closer to 90,000 honestly by the time we're done with everything. So it just flipped over at 58922 counting that. Um so, we got paid a lot. We're getting paid a lot for all this. Got a good operation going here. Alright, so let's unload this real quick. The other worker that's rolling is probably close to being done. Uh, it's not able to go to the very end. I saw that before we flipped over. Uh, so there's going to be portions of it that we have to come back and do. Actually, we can go ahead and just take it now. There's a ton that we have to do. Yeah, it's just unfortunately it's the trees on this one. Um, if we get rid of the trees, we probably have a better chance, which I've kind of mentioned about already. But I mean, getting rid of the trees is going to take some work, though. That's not going to be uh, something we can do overnight. Much as I hate rolling, we're pretty much going to have to roll this whole field ourselves. That's what it seems like. At least until we get rid of those trees. If we can get rid of those trees. So we'll take a look at that one field I was talking about. Um, a couple episodes ago, we were potentially going to buy that. Um, instead of the one that we bought right here that we're rolling. It may be close to being ready to be harvested already. It'll be, it's ready to be harvested already. And if it is, then it's probably something we should certainly try to buy uh, with the money we have. The more fields we have, that means the more things we have to do and the less we have to, you know, jump number of months just to have something to do. And this is the last uh, big harvest we're going to have for a while, so um, we're, we're not going to have... <clears throat> A whole lot of money incoming, with the exception of when the grass is ready to mow for a while. One more pass, maybe one and a half, and uh, this will be done, and we'll take a look at that field. We'll look at the price again. I think it was 30 something thousand, I think, if I remember correctly, and then we can drive over there and take a peek at it as well. I'm not going to worry about that little spot I missed back there. It's it's not even worth it. It's not going to cause that big of a 
a difference. All right, so I believe he was field 15, is that what it was? This one, 31, or yeah, field 15 or field seven, whichever way you want to look at it. $31,000, we can easily afford that. Let's drive over there and look at it. Is it, uh, is it ready to harvest? It is ready to harvest. We should definitely buy it, so long as it's uh, a cereal crop, something we can harvest. At current. Sure looks like it's going to be oat. We might have looked at it before. It is oat. Alright, we're going to buy that. We're going to buy that field, gang. Well, actually, you know what? We could buy any of these two, which are a little bit closer. But what's the difference? Right? We could buy this grass field. That's a huge grass field right there. Maybe we buy that instead. Hmm... If we do that, we could build the little path I wanted to, I wanted to talk about to go to the water and get down to this side of the... Uh, hmm. Well, now I'm, now I'm second-guessing everything here. 11 is ready to harvest as well, but we can't afford that currently. We will once we're probably done selling everything. That's red beet. We can't do that. We're buying this one. We have it. We own it now, gang. This is really going well for us. We're really doing... Honestly, I thought this series was going to take forever to make progress. I thought maybe at some point it might get repetitively boring. But uh, with the exception of the first maybe three to five episodes, it really hasn't been that. Well, the fifth episode, we got this grass field, I think, right? Or is it the fourth episode? One of those episodes, we got this grass field right here. Um, and since then, we've kind of been buying fields, for the most part, almost every episode. We've been buying at least one. Let's get back in the harvester. Let's get this done. So now we have a little bit more to do uh, in the next episode as well. So we've got that field over there to harvest. We've got this field to plant. Which is good. I was kind of concerned that the next episode would be much shorter than the, they've been lately. Even though I said at the beginning I wanted to keep these kind of short. They really haven't been that short uh, as of late. I need to get back in that groove. Which is why I was okay with waiting on this one to be uh, drilled. Now, certainly we could leave one of the fields, you know, to harvest the next day, but when the price is right, it just makes more sense in my eyes just to go ahead and get it done. We can drill it whenever, but it makes sense to go ahead and uh, get the crop harvested and sell it so we can actually have some money. So there's still a decent chunk back here to, to get, so... Um, will it be a full harvester load? No. Will it be a full trailer load? I don't know. I don't know exactly how much is in that trailer right now. I forget. I didn't really look at it. We just kind of waited for this to empty and then kept going. We'll make a little money from those potatoes today. Still figuring something out for the pig food. Like I said, maybe we'll even get pigs. Since we have pig food now, we might. All right, since we can do that in a, in a full strip, let's go ahead and touch this little section up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a little ways here and then we're gonna cut to the right, down to the end there. And we can, you know, it on our worker for a brief period of time until we get our, our uh, trailer back down here. Because it's going to have to be down here now. Yes, I know I do not have access. Thank you.
There's gonna be little sections down there, I just saw it, that uh, we're gonna have to come back here and touch up as well, that it didn't like the tree, so... Uh, and the little pass we did was not sufficient enough for it. So we'll have to come touch those up as well. But 3,823 in here, we may get a full trailer yet out of this. We'll have to see. So we'll bring this up here. Kind of leave it right in there. Leave it running. Let's go take the premium potatoes and go sell them real quick. Um, I think we're going to try the little plow thing out. The the chaff plow thing. Sl the, the sledge thing, whatever you want to call it. The wedge. Whatever. Well, that's happening. Let's just look out here. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can do. This tool can be used to transport pallets. Ten grand, though. Man, that is so expensive. I mean, this may work. Maybe. I'm concerned that it won't, though. Used to, how would that how would that be used to transport pallets? Sling for lifting. Okay. Hmm. Planting marker. I'm gonna attempt this. It may be a waste of money here. I'm gonna attempt it. I think... Will that work? I don't know. Let's finish the harvest and then I'll, then I'll see if it'll work or not. I'll take over for the worker here. Just a few more strips here and we're done. It won't take us long, so we'll go ahead and take over. I think we are going to get another trailer load and have a little tiny bit left over. Watch out, white car. We're coming through. Yep. Two more passes and we'll be done here. Uh, it is... It's going to be close. If it doesn't fill up the trailer, it's going to be real close. Whatever's left over, we probably won't even drive it all the way over there. It's probably not even worth the gas and the wear and tear. We'll just take it to our little selling grate. It wasn't that far off anyway, the selling grate, in comparison to that one. I probably could use the harvester header and push those, but it would damage it in real life, so we're not going to do that. You'd push the uh, pig food, right? Probably could do that.
Line this up. This is the last pass here, gang, and it, shh, this harvest will be done. Alright, that is the harvest done. Let's see if uh, it's a full trailer, what I expect it to be. I do. I think we had 4,000 and something, 5,000 and something in there. I think. back while we're waiting. Well, what I thought was going to be a relatively lighter episode next episode, it turns out it's going to be probably a pretty busy one. I have to refactor in drilling this field, spraying it, rolling it, and then harvesting the other field. It'll be pretty busy. Did fit all in there. Wow. You guys should have taken that bet with me. You would have won. We're just going to leave this here for right now. I can fix that here in a minute. Let's go sell this. Uh, it won't be 25000 but it'll be probably twenty-two, twenty-one thousand, twenty-two thousand, 22000 probably. So still a nice payday. We'll be back up to... Uh, over 50,000 and then we'll probably drop I don't know another 20 grand into the loan I think uh, speaking of the loan I don't think I showed you uh, when we uh, did the last repayment it took us down to $400 for our loan interest so slowly getting there $400 is better than 483 which is where we were at uh, two episodes ago right so 83 extra dollars a month. Helps for the uh, payment of the uh, the workers. What are you doing back here, old lady? You should be back here. There's a working area. Twenty-four. It was more than I thought it was going to be. Twenty-four zero five four. Fifty-five thousand one three one. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, head back to the shop. Uh, I'll clean up, you know, putting everything away off camera. But we'll head back to the shop. We're going to try that little pallet four thing out and see if it works. If it does, then we can utilize it in the uh, next episode. If it doesn't, well, I guess we wasted a thousand bucks. All right, I went ahead and bought a gang moment of truth. I think it's going to work. I do. I think it's going to work. Let's just pick it up. Can we drop it now? That's the thing. Yes, we can. All right, this is going to work. This is going to work. I said we were going to wait and do it in the next episode. Let's just go ahead and do it now. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure it actually works when we try to pick it up. Make sure that the gator can do it and it doesn't, like... It's not too heavy that it puts the front, you know, wheels up in the air. Because if so, we might have to put a... A bigger weight on it. This one already has a weight on it. The other one does not, which is why I'm utilizing this one. This is the one we started with, which has a, an actual weight on the front. If we want to weigh in the other one, we can do it. We'd have to just customize it and uh, spend some money to do so. But I think one for right now, for what we currently have, one is, is plenty. I don't think we need more than that. All right, let's see if we can get this to work. I hope it does. Uh-oh. That ain't gonna work. Shoot. I really thought it was gonna work, gang. It's uh, too high in the air. It's not gonna work. Dang it. Maybe the only chance we have is this is still a little high up. I really haven't spent the money to work on 
trying to flatten it out as much as I should. The only only chance we have is if we back it in like this, where it's flat against the ground. I think I need to push them a little bit further, though. It's gonna have to take a little work, but we probably could just push them with this, though, too, right? There we go. We got it. It's, a it, it's able to work that way. Uh, it is not perfect. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I am sliding. It is putting weight down behind me. It's probably because there's two of them. I can't turn. So, yeah, this is not, uh, not gonna work as well as I thought. Okay, we are turning here. We got a chance. This is not, <laughs> this is the, this is not perfect. This is not the, the way that we should be doing this, but it is going to work for now. Maybe we can figure out something else. Maybe somebody in the comments will let me know by now if there's another way to do it, but this is, this will work. It's just gonna take a little trial and error here. But we just got 8,410 out of those. That's <laughs> phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. That's a lot of money. I think pushing them is the way to go here. And if we can pick it up based off an angle, we'll, we'll utilize it, but... Like that. Perfect. Awesome. Alright, I will clean all this up, gang. We'll leave that episode there. Hope you all enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's uh, free. It helps me a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or ideas, let me know down below. I'm happy to get back to you on those. And uh, until next time, I will see you all. Man, we gotta clean this. We gotta clean this John Deere. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next episode.